Welcome to the Inventis Cello tutorial video series. I'm Nicole and I will guide you through the future and use of our PC control diagnostic audiometer. On cello, pure tone and speech audiometric sums are available via air and band conduction or through free field output. During this video, we will have a look at the available settings and at how simple it is to carry out a pure tone and a speech audiometry test. Before starting to use cello, the medical power supply must be connected to the electrical grid and the USB cable to the computer. When connecting cello via USB, the operative system will automatically recognize the device with no need for driver installation. Just double click on the Maestro icon and the software will open. Exams available will be shown on the upper part of the software. Select PTA to start a pure tone audiometry test. Maestro screen for pure tone audiometry maximizes the dimensions of the audiograms in the center and puts the control buttons on two-sided columns. The user can control the software using the mouse, the computer keyboard or a touch screen. Shortcuts for the keyboard use can be found under the audiology menu, control mode settings and then shortcuts. The video will now continue describing the controls using only the mouse. On the lower part of the two columns, there are controls relative to the two channels. On your left for the primary stimulus channel, on your right for the masking. Transducer selection is done by clicking on the output selection. Click to switch from air conduction to bone conduction to free field or select the desired option from the list. Click on input to decide whether to send a pure tone or a warble tone as a stimulus, a narrow band or a white noise as masking signal. Intensity level can be modified by rotating the mouse knob or by clicking on the dedicated buttons. Increasing the masking intensity from minus 10 dB will automatically turn the channel on. A safety lock prevents undesired stimulations above 100 dBHL. Click on higher dB to confirm the intention of testing intensities above. Interrupters are available for both channel 1 and channel 2. Simply go with the mouse over the dedicated area or right-click on the audiograms area to send the stimulus. Two buttons allow the change of the current frequency value. Cello normal frequency range is from 125 up to 8000 Hz. Above channel controls, there are settings for the pulsed option and two switches to link the masking channel to the stimuli. Tracking is for maintaining the intensity gap, while lock is to synchronize the activation. On cello, it is possible to measure HL or UCL threshold. Press the function keys to switch. Cello also features the Hewson Westlake protocol for the automatic evaluation of the hearing threshold. Press Auto for switching to the automatic test. Hi again! I hope you found the information here helpful in getting familiar with the pure tone exam on cello audiometer. We really try our best in developing a user-friendly interface. Anyway, we can now go on with the speech audiometry, where most of the settings are identical to those seen previously. So, let's have a look at what is different. 
Select speech from the list of exams available to start a speech audiometry test. With cello, a word list can be read through a microphone or it can be played directly from the computer while looking at the words on the display. Click on input to decide whether to play the speech material from the computer via USB or from an external source or to say the word directly into the microphone. Prior to continuing with the settings, we need now to check the speech input's initial gain to be sure of the effectiveness of the dialed intensity. Select the calibration tone from your word lists and press play. To set the initial offset, move the gain cursor. The ideal situation is when the VU meter reaches the zero value. When this is done, you can start the examination. In the case of computer stored material, the playback can be started by pressing the play pause button. To hear the patient repeating the words, especially if in the sound booth, the talkback function must be activated. Click on the switch to turn it on and move the cursor to adjust the volume. On the lower part of the screen, two buttons allow the patient's score to be measured when the words are repeated correctly. On cello, it is possible to measure two curves for the standard WRS graph or alternatively the SRT, MCL and UCL thresholds. Switch among the test modes or select the desired option from the list.